Hi, I'm Dr. Zelania Allen, president of the National Entrepreneurs Association. And I'm here today with the third place winner of our National Virtual Pitch Competition, part two, Tisha Hammond, the small business cheerleader. Welcome, Tisha. Thank you, Dr. Allen, for having me. I'm super excited about this conversation today. All right, thank you for joining me. The first thing I wanna ask you is how does it feel to win? This is so exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting is an understatement for me. I'm still celebrating. Uh, and what it feels like is really, I guess I guess I could sum it up in deja vu. I, I saw this moment. I envisioned it before it happened. I prayed for it, I practiced for it. And when I was announced as the third place winner, I was happily shocked and delighted that manifestation and envisioning really do have some power to them. That's awesome. And I think that's a powerful message for our viewers that if you want something to happen, you have to see it before it happens and have faith and you can manifest it. Yeah. So before we go any further, Tell me a little bit about who you are and about your business. All right. Well, a little bit about who I am is I'm a woman who woke up around 2014, 2015 to understand that I had a large measure of influence to share. Uh, I have a tragedy to triumph business story. I founded my company, Ascent Small Business Promotion LLC in 2015 as a A to Z uh, business resource development. Uh, my company really is a marketing and media influence corporation, and we serve entrepreneurs. So what I was pitching was the media unit, which is Access Pass Media, where we provide storytelling, stage, and performance coaching for live events in preparation for live or virtual events for storytelling. That's amazing. And you do an awesome job. I, I see you everywhere, literally. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so That's what made you... I'm sorry? That's consistent. That's me trying to be consistent. Well, you're doing a great job. So my next question is, what made you enter the pitch competition? Oh, well, NEA is a pretty big deal. I am in Metro Detroit. And one, the branding is on point. Um, I am an entrepreneur. This is the, where the community of uh, people that I serve belong and enjoy membership in. And so I had participated in the part one of the pitch contest. And that was a great first pitch experience for me. And I wanted to try again and, and see if we could go for a different result. Uh, but the consistent messaging of, hey, here's a pitch contest across the websites and social media, it was a steady reminder, you know, Tisha, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Take this shot. And so I entered again. All right, great. So what's your goal for your business and how will the prize that you won help you with that goal? And we should tell the audience what you won. So you won a $500 cash prize, a brand new computer from Dell Technologies, and a one-year membership to NEA. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and those are going to be used all very uh, expeditiously and strategically. So the goal for my business is to create passionate stories that will be told across various media outlets. Want to help the storyteller create and perform the story, give them the environment to do that, give them the audience to do that in front of, and then take that voice and video material and then pitch that to the media so that that entrepreneur, storyteller, author, whomever the person is, uh, gets more shine. So always shining the spotlight on someone with a goal to make sure that they're not chasing the media's attention, but instead garnering the media's respect with how much material our company can put out for them, including press releases and getting them booked in interviews on, we call it getting you booked on stages and seen 
in pages as people flip through pages of magazines and newspapers. So the $500 uh, is going to be used for an ambitious advertising campaign. Interactive and cross-promotional ads. You can be sure to see a thank you ad uh, for NEA, Dell, and Comerica come out of that. The Dell computer is going to be used to launch our Los Angeles office. On August 25th, we open up our Los Angeles media unit. And so when the Dell computer is available, that is the team that will receive it. Okay, great. And there's so many components to the pitch. Uh, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And thanks to our sponsors at Comerica Bank this year, we were able to add the coaching component. But my question for you is, what was your favorite part of the entire experience? Oh, my favorite part of the entire experience is probably receiving the complimentary complimentary one-year membership to NEA um, because that did not have to be part of the prize package. Uh, and what that tells me is that NEA is very interested in building bridges with individuals and their communities uh, around North America, or, or at least here uh, in the States. And uh, I'm excited to share communities with NEA, and I'm definitely excited to hopefully be the one who'll be asked to cover media events for the events that we'll have together. I'm happy to say we, because I'm now officially a part of <laughs> NEA. Uh, I wish I would have done it sooner, but it was pretty cool that the, the membership was offered to all of the uh, winners. So I'm thankful about really activating that and, and getting productive with NEA. Yes, thank you for saying that. One of the reasons we offer the membership is because we're a networking group and a training organization. So those are our primary areas of focus. And the networking piece, I don't think people realize how important that is. You may be just one person away from your business taking off or changing your life. And I see it happen every day. I mean, even before you became a member, you made some key introductions for me that um, we're still taking advantage of. So the networking piece is very powerful. But my next question for you is, would you recommend the pitch competition for other entrepreneurs? And if so, why or why not? Yes, because I do not believe in keeping good things secret from other people. So for the first pitch contest and for this most recent one, I was advertising it across my show, Pep Talk Live with Tisha Hammond, which is seen on six continents. Now, understanding is the wow. people here in the States who are going to be able to apply, but the, the audience or the global pep squad is full of entrepreneurs. And every day I would say, I applied, you ought to apply. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Join me in this. Let's do this together. Um, I am not keeping good things a secret from anyone, particularly entrepreneurs, because that's, that's who have my heart, you know? And uh, there's enough spotlight for all of us. So yeah, I tell people about NEA all the time. And these pitch contests, I've encouraged as many people as I can to join them and of course, I don't get those results of if they actually applied, but I'll continue to put the word out there. I think when you give, well, actually, I know this, this is a uh, law of the universe. When you give, it comes back. I mean, it's biblical. It's all through the Bible and it comes back multiplied. So just so happy to hear that you practice that whole concept. Uh, where do you see your business in about five years? I see myself having a television show in five years, uh, doing kind of the things I'm doing now, but on a large, uh, much larger scale. I see my company having offices uh, in Toronto and across North America. I see us spreading over into the UK and uh, certainly into some parts of Africa. We haven't really figured out 
where exactly we might land there. Well, we know that there's a great opportunity to be a blessing to entrepreneurs across the globe. So I see television and media production uh, in our future. I see us becoming an organization that could rival Newswire, you know, where people want to share their press releases to and through. And so I'm really excited to, to be a source for entrepreneurs who are looking to get media access and to find media coverage in outlets they just didn't think they could be seen in before. So I see us growing in that way. Okay, that's an awesome goal. And I believe you're going to do it. <laughs> so any final words before we wrap up here? Yeah, um, little by little becomes a lot. So be encouraged and, and don't give up. If you believe that you have been given a dream and a mission to accomplish a particular set of goals in entrepreneurship, bet on yourself. Don't give up on it. Even if others don't seem to support you, there is a community that can support you. You heard about it here at NEA and certainly uh, we'd encourage you to become part of the NEA family and, and build within this community. Just watch the doors open from there, but little by little becomes a lot. So take it slow, but keep going if you, if you can. Okay, that's great. So thank you again, Tisha, for joining me. Congratulations on your win. And I'm looking forward to all the work that we're going to do together in NEA to help each other and entrepreneurs grow. Thank you for joining me, audience, and I will see you next time. <laughs>